world, Adam Alec with PragmaticWaves.com coming at you today with another debugging tutorial inside of Eclipse. And in today's video, we're going to be going over what's called the Expressions pane. And what I really love about this feature of the debugger is that it allows you to sort of dynamically calculate different methods or, or just kind of see a little bit further into different classes or figure out other expressions using other variables or whatever else. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to calculate on the fly while the put program is paused in the debugger, you can do that with this expressions method, uh, expressions function here. So what do I mean by that? Let's look at this basic example here. I have this uh, person class right here. I create this person object here. And let's go ahead and look inside of this class here. Very basic class, only has two method or two uh, fields here rather, a uh, string for the name and a, a local date, which is of course gonna be the birth date. And then inside this constructor, this constructor actually takes uh, two strings, the second string being a birth date, which is gonna be in the format of year, 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 month, month, day, day. And of course it sets the name to name, and then it's gonna set the birth date to this little help for uh, method here called parse date, parse birth date. And what that's gonna do is accept this string here, it's going to extract out the year, month, and day, and then it's going to, con going to convert that into a local date and spit that back out so it gets assigned right there into birth date. Okay, and then I have a few other things here which I'll get into in a moment, but at the bottom here I just have this overridden two string method. So let's just go ahead and run this right now just to prove that this works at least a little bit and we can see that when I print out the person object here, I get the name of Adam and the birth date of that actual birth date there. And no, that's not my actual birth date, but it's actually not too far off. Anyways, so let's go ahead and put a breakpoint here and sort of see the limitations of the breakpoint and the variables pane. We've seen this variables pane before, right? Let's go ahead and see a little bit of the limitations with this right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and step into the debugger mode. And I'm gonna pause the program right here on line eight before it executes this line. So that means we have already created and instantiated this person object. So if I go over to my variables watch window here, I can drill down on the person object here that I've created and I can see the different fields that I have. I have the day of one, the month of one, the year of 1991. And of course the name is Adam. It's just a string so I could look at the character array of the different ASCII values here um, or whatever else, that doesn't really matter. We know we have a, right here a string of Adam and a birth date of what's ever inside this local date here, which again is the day, month, and the year. So that's all fine, but what if I wanna look a little bit further in here? For example, I have a couple other methods that we haven't gone over inside of this person object here, this person class here. And one of them is gonna be a get age method. And what this method does is it's gonna grab a periodicity of the birth date and the local date of right now. And it's gonna return the get years. So this returns an integer of the difference between right now and whatever date was supplied, in this case going to be the birth date. Well, I don't have a meth I don't have a field here that stores age. This one gets calculated on the fly. So I'm not able to actually see it within the variables watch window here. But what I could do if I really wanted to see that, I know you're probably thinking, well, there's a couple easy ways of doing this, you know, the sort of the elementary way. I could just put in a age um, field in here and then calculate that during the constructor. But maybe you don't want to do that for whatever reason. Maybe you're a little bit limited in what you can or cannot do, so you can't actually modify the class. Okay, no big deal. Another easy way of doing this is I could just extract out the age here and say person.getAge. And then I could put a breakpoint right here and see what that is. And you know, that's fine too, but again, maybe you just don't really want to do that, or if you're only gonna be putting that in there temporarily, that's sort of a, a childish, hackish way of doing it, but we are professional software engineers and we need to know how to use our tools properly. And using the debugger in Eclipse has a very easy way to do that called the expressions pane. So all I'm gonna go in here is click on a new expression and I'm gonna say person.getAge and press enter, and we can see that this expression gets calculated on the fly. It automatically goes through and executes this method here for us. 
Um, another reason we might not want to, if you're not fully convinced, by the way, on like, well, I would have just put in a new age in here, a new age field or whatever else, and then calculate it during the constructor. Yeah, that's fine. But what if we had some that were like uh, uh, database driven and we couldn't actually do that? Or maybe it was an expensive operation like a database query for a very large database. And we don't want to spend all that expensive time during the constructor, during the instantiation of this class. So that would be a great case where we want to use this and you know we want to calculate different um, expressions on the fly within our class and we, we don't want to have to store them by any means. So that's you know the perfect use case for this. Uh, we can see I have another public method here called is 21 or older. I'm going to say uh, person dot is 21 or older and that will return true because of course 30 is greater than or equal to 21. Get age greater than or equal to 21, that comes out to true. So anyways, I don't wanna to dive too deep into this. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory what this expressions pane does here. It's very, very useful. Uh, so hope you guys learn a thing or two. If you liked this video, please do consider giving a like. Uh, also, please consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell. And drop a comment down below if you like this video or what you would like to see me cover next. Until next time, everyone, happy coding.